dude! It was all you! That was how did that feel? How did that feel? How do you feel, bro? Sick, how do you feel? bro. How do you feel? bro. I feel like this, yo. 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 I feel like this. All right. Remember when I told you guys to watch the progress? Cause he's gonna get it, and he just got it. So it's only up from here. Thanks only to this guy and this guy. What this up? guy right here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you're so sh**. So happens when you do 10 of them, you never record it, idiot. So stupid. Hey. Ooh. Not bad. But it was only for like an hour. Like other than that. So I did like, I would say maybe 10 successful standing fulls today. Shut up. I just did like 10 tucks to end off the night. But Demos asked me to do a standing full round to ground, so I'm gonna do it right now. While I'm bouncing though. <laughs> you mad? Alright, dog, let's see it. If you can do this, you're lit. Only if your hat stays on though. Oh! 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 Okay, so I just made it to my mom's place in Toronto. I have a casting today for another potentially paid runway show for Tom. This designer is called Ross Mayer. Hopefully I get this one because then I can get more money to walk through these shows. So that'd be cool. And I will see you guys there. Okay, so that was actually a really fast casting. So fast that I actually forgot to film there. It was literally just a walk in, talk to the guy, his name is Ross, put on a coat, he takes pictures. I did a little bit of a walk for him. And then that was it. Maybe 10 minutes, including waiting time of just waiting for him to get there. So now I am free. I'm gonna go to dim sum with my mom and my grandpa and I guess my grand uncle. So bye. All right guys, today is the day that I finished Choose Happiness by Sam Gray. Overall, really good book. I feel like he was talking to me in a way that was just very welcoming and friendly. It wasn't like, you need to do this and do this. It was very much more so of an invitation to a bunch of ideas that he thought were useful or resourceful to people. He would never pressure you into doing things. It was kind of just like, you know, here's an idea for you. Try it out. This is why it makes sense. This is how you can use it. Go. So I really like that aspect of it because it wasn't like shoving information down my throat. So if you haven't already, go buy that, read it. Really good friend of mine. And I think there was like at least five solid things that I took away from it that I really liked. And my favorite being his idea of how your mind is like a living room. But I can't really like tell you because I'd rather you just buy it and read it for yourself. So, shall we? Hey, we out here cooking. Let's go. Pasta. Pasta. Gonna make a bomb veggie pasta salad. Hey. Nice. Here we got the shrimp, we got the pasta salad, and dad. <laughs> All right, friends, filmed two videos today. One updating you guys on my 30 day challenge because I just passed the halfway mark and another video about my wardrobe revival. So you guys will see about that in a bit. And I also got back not too long ago from the gym, did a really intense, quick back and bicep workout with Demos. Came back home. So I'm gonna do some really quick editing now. I probably won't finish though because I wanna go to bed and it's already 1.20. I'll just see you guys in the morning. Morning guys. Woke up today feeling a bit under the weather and I'm not sure why. Kind of got like feverish, kind of. My body's really hot and I had a stomach ache, which is weird. I don't know. Like I got a lot of sleep last night. I didn't go to bed that late. Probably like 2 a.m. And I tried to get up at 9, but I didn't get up till 10.30 today. But you know what? Better late than ever. So let's just get editing. Maybe shoot a video if I feel good enough, but I think today might just be a full day of like recovering. Doesn't feel good to be sick, guys. Also, I did not buzz my hair. I'm just putting my hat like this to keep my hair out of my face because my hair is really long now. It's like down to here. I'll show you. Look how long that is. It pokes me in my eyeballs. 
<laughs> it hurts. I have moved on to stage two of my weird body feeling sickness because the fever is like gone. The stomach is still upset, but now I have chills. So I went to my bed. I'm laid down here, accidentally fell asleep and woke up with drool all over my hand. Side detail, I guess you guys didn't need to know that. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, probably about an hour and a half later, I'm finally getting up. That took me a little while. Oh, it's right out here. Oh man, falling in and out of sleep that entire time. My body is wrecked right now. But it is now 3.50 and I'm gonna get back to work, so. Rough day, jeez. Any y'all ever seen yellow bread before? For any of you guys who don't know, this is peg bread. It's from Allen's Pastry, right in between Markham and Scarborough. It's the bombest bread you've ever had in your entire life. It's like a little bit sweet. It's super dense, really chewy. You can make the best French toast with this. It's so good. I literally just break off pieces and just eat it like that because it's so good. But this is my family's bakery. So hit them up, get their patties. They have other things there like plantain tarts, bullet cake. So if you know what's good, if you like good food, hit them up. Double decker peanut butter and jam banana sandwich. Let's go! So I'm on a roll here, friends. Looking at my schedule for the 30 day challenge, just kind of mapping it out, planning it out. Today, I've already filmed three YouTube videos, so that's really good. And I'm gonna see how many I can do today. It's easier for me to edit on the go or do whatever it is I need to do or last minute, but filming, that's definitely something that I can't do at any time, anywhere. It takes a little longer, so making progress. Back again, looking for hiking boots. This time, at this place. This place is ginormous. What you want, boy? Got him. Oh my god. All right, guys, we're back home now. These are the boots that I got. They are Morel. I don't even remember what kind of make they are, but this is what they are. They're like medium cut. The high ones were kind of annoying me because I think I have really flexible ankles and it was kind of prohibiting my movement. These ones are short enough that they don't inhibit any mobility, but they still have a good amount of stability in the ankles to prevent me from like rolling my ankle, for example. So they fit super nice. They're a bit wide because I kind of have wide feet, but comfy. Okay, so we're at the gym now, and Awad wants to show me his brand new pants, so check him out. Camera on me? It's yeah, camera it's, on good, me. it's good. Alright, okay, so first of all, these pants cost me a fortune, but let me tell you, it was worth it. These pants, look how stretchy these are. Like, this is like a full range of ooh, ooh, here. I'm gonna be ooh, flexible. Ooh, I'm about to ooh, now, yo. Chill. Look at that. Hey. Hey. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. It does look really decent. Okay, so uh, Awad is volunteering here as the physio, and he just got cups. Bro, look at that. Jeez. Jeez. Up like here? This. Yeah. Mm. I want to put my shin over you like this. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, I want to push down. Okay. I want to push, make your leg straight. Okay. Push down. I'm going to keep going. Oh, <laughs> sorry. sorry I'm going to keep bit. going until I feel a, a resistance. I'm just, I feel a bit of resistance. Yeah, so I'm going to hold it here for 10 seconds. 10. <laughs> Four, three, two, <laughs> one, release. Nice. And now you're gonna uh, It's dead. I killed it. <laughs> I'm a murderer. Okay, enough of that. So today's commentary is shoulders day. However, this one was midday, so I wasn't fasting. So recently, the boys and I have been doing handstands to start every workout. And then we started doing so many that we're like, okay, why not just do handstand push-ups? So we built up our strength and now I can do five handstand push-ups pretty easily. And then we move on to dumbbell shoulder press. I did three by eight pause and I usually start out my shoulder workouts with one to two functional movements and then the rest is all isolation. So here I'm just focusing on not using the bounce. And then we moved on to face pulls. I usually use this exercise as more of like a warm up, but I figured I'll go a bit heavier and I'll go for higher sets and reps today. I did three sets of 12 for a medium difficulty weight. Then I wanted to try this thing that I saw Steve Cook post on Instagram about. And it was so funny because me, Demos, and Awad were all doing this at the same time. And we were in unison too. We looked like a dance trio. 
but basically it's a lateral raise while the other one does a 90 degree bent arm front delt raise just to keep longer times under tension. I did this for three sets of 10 reps each arm. Then I did one and a half reps of cable lateral raise. This is basically a staple in my shoulder workouts. Honestly, it burns so much, but I actually like the shoulder burn, so. It's a really good exercise to incorporate in your program if you're looking to build those nice, bold shoulders. I do these at the lowest weight for three sets of 10, and honestly, you can't really go any more than that unless you have ginormous shoulders, because it hurts. And we ended on machine rear delt flies, for three sets of 15, slow eccentric. One thing I'm doing here is I'm keeping my scapula protracted throughout the entire movement because I want to isolate the rear delt fibers rather than getting help from my scapula retractors. Okay, we're done here. And honestly, I think that was an all time record low of being formal. So if you'd like to congratulate me, just like honestly like the video, share it with your friends, watch it. Um, yeah, bye. Okay, so I'm back home now, I had a really good shoulders workout, and I'm editing my video just before I head to this family dinner, but look at this. So I know this is literally nothing, but these things right here, those are extra things I'm putting in my videos, like sound effects, pictures, just like random things to make it more funny. And it's kind of fun being creative and putting in things that I think will make people laugh. So hopefully it makes for a better video in general. That's the goal, but uh, time for dinner. Okay guys, good morning. It is Saturday, 10.30. Just had breakfast with my parents, and um, as you will know by tomorrow when I post this vlog, yesterday, the 16th, I didn't post a video on YouTube for that 30 day challenge, technically. I mean, within the 24 hours of it being the actual February 16th, I didn't post. I posted at like 3 a.m. on the 17th. I don't know if you would consider that a fail. It was Chinese New Year, I was just like super lazy. But, <laughs> I don't know, I think it still counts, kind of. 30 videos in 30 days, I guess I didn't say a video each day. Oh, maybe I probably did, but um, I'm not gonna count that as a loss because I don't want that to discourage me from continuing this challenge and continuing to upload and vlog, and, or uh, upload and make videos and stuff. The learning point here is that I'll have to better prepare myself for days when I'm gone, or days that I know will be very busy. Yeah, let's keep it going. Never should have messed with a match, man. I told your brother the same thing. <clears throat> Reinforce your chassis. What's up, guys? Okay, guys, you, I really feel bad this time, but you, I just, please don't get mad at me. Second night in a row that I'm not posting on the day of, because it's after 12 a.m. now, and I'm going to be posting in about 10 minutes. I don't want to use life as an excuse but life is happening right now, so I'm, you know, going through something, dealing with it. And it is affecting how much time I have at home, how much time I have to myself, being around family. It's not going to stop me from posting 30 videos in 30 days, so. Shall we, guys? Time to go. Peace.